Hey there, this is Julie Larson with CloudBloomers.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an event using your Facebook business page. Not your profile, not your personal profile, but your business page. So I am currently logged into my personal profile and I'm on my timeline and I would like to uh, create an event for one of the businesses that I'm an admin on their page. So over up in the upper right there's the little gear shift right up here. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to choose which page I want to create the event for. It's the Taking Care of Business Networking Alliance page and you can see this is all the admin panel when you go there. So let me scroll down a little bit and in this case uh, the gentleman who is having the event is one of our members and his business is My Signature Living in Sarasota, Scott Pinchuk and I'm going to show him how to create uh, an event and I'm, I'm actually going to create it on this page and then I'm going to hopefully turn it over to him so that he'll be the host of it and if he needs to edit it or anything like that he can do that. So what I'm going to do is scroll down a little bit further and here on the status post you'll notice that there's a place for events. Click on that and then click on the event tab and then this pops up here. So the business is my signature living and it's going to be an open house celebration. I've already, Scott provided me with the information here so I've got it pre-typed up. You can just type it in from the Facebook pop up there but I'm going to copy it and paste the details in here and then it's not going to take place at the at the Taking Care of Business Networking Alliance so I'm going to remove that and I'm going to add an address in there 6528 South oops South okay and you see as I start to type it in, the address populates with the business. That, that may or may not happen, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and click on that because that's the correct one. And there is, there's no tickets. I believe this is a free event. If it isn't, then I'm going to let Scott edit it. But I would imagine an open house is a free event. So if there was a link where people would have to buy tickets, then you would want to put the complete URL there. Um, this, this event takes place on Saturday, March 30th, and the starting time is 10 a.m. And make sure you choose a.m. or p.m., whichever is best for you. And then I'm going to, you don't have to put an end time in there, but I'm going to put an end time of 4 p.m. All right, and click on that. And it, there's a box here that says only admins can post to the event wall that's a personal choice I'm gonna leave I'm not gonna check that because I want other people to be able to you know reply and say hey great I'm gonna be coming or I won't be able to make it or whatever so I'm not gonna check that and now let's create the event so there it is okay and um, in Facebook I don't believe you have the options to add the bullet point so if you want to have a little bit of style not really much style here because it doesn't really let you bold or anything but if you want to have a little bit of style you might try typing it out first in a Word document notice I've got this underline and then over here it doesn't show up but the bullet points do show up okay so now the other thing is I want to add a photo for this event so you're gonna go up here to the top where it says add event photo if you have the photos already on your Facebook account or in your business account, you can choose from those. Otherwise, you can upload a photo. And in this case, um, I actually had a little bit of a problem doing it. So let me show you. I'm going to choose this one of Scott's. It's his header of his website that I took a screen capture of. Um, Okay, well, something's going to get a little bit cut off here. But anyway, it said that it needed to have the photo at least 400 pixels in width. So I uploaded a photo, or tried to upload a photo that had 400 pixels in width, but it wouldn't take it. So then I had to create one that had 500 pixels in width, and that would not work. And so now I've got this one that's 550, and you can see 
that it's cutting things off a little. So anyway, that's just something we'll have to make do with. It lets you drag it to reposition it, but I'm still cutting some stuff off. So I'm going to click on Save Changes. All right, and now I am going to promote the event. And it's reminding me that I'm using Facebook as taking care of network, the Taking Care of Business Networking Alliance. In order for me to continue, evidently you can't promote it as your page, you have to promote it as a person. So I'm going to continue as Julie Larson. And when I continue as Julie Larson, it takes me to an Advertise on Facebook page and says, so, Scott, if you want to pay for advertising, this is where you're going to be able to do it. Um, and from here, it's like there's no escape. <laughs> I couldn't get out of it without placing an order or reviewing the ad or um, actually just closing it out. So uh, if you want to pay for advertising, I mean, Facebook has got a lot of great ads and, and great prices on advertising. You can do that as well to promote the event. And you can actually go in and really target the uh, target your market or I mean target the audience here so right down to Sarasota and so on but anyway so what I had to do is I had to close out of here I'm leaving the page the event is actually created so I'm back here at the Taking Care of Business Networking Alliance Facebook page and if I scroll down you'll see there's the event and um, six people have already seen it as we're creating this which is kind of cool I'm gonna click on it my signature living okay there's the event and this is where I can share it but I believe I can only share it within the page so let me cancel out of there and it's because I'm posting as the page so I'm gonna cancel out of there and I just want to show you one other thing. You can come up here to the URL, grab, copy it, and then grab that and post it in, e in an email so that you can get it out to people via email as well. And if they're on Facebook, they'll be able to click on it and they'll be able to join it. So let me go back here. And I want to go back to my personal profile, Julie Larson. And then I'm going to come over here, click on the home. And I'm going to come over to the Taking Care of Business Networking page. And this is where I can, first of all, I'm going to like it. And then I can click on the link. And I can say, um, yes, I'm coming. Or I had an option to click maybe. And now this is where I can invite friends. So I'm going to invite Scott. And we are friends on Facebook. There you are, Scott. Okay. Since this is actually Scott's event, I want to go ahead and also add him as a host. So I'm going to come up here to the little gear shift over here, and then it says Edit Hosts, and then I'm going to add Scott Pinchuk and submit and now he is the host of his own event okay so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or problems let me know thank you bye bye